what we show here now is that these very large ears uh, are actually not as bad as we would originally think because they might uh, aid the bats in providing lift forces that keeps them aloft when they're flying. So it's not just a drag force for them, but actually something that helps them as well. Uh, how did you do this experiment? We have, uh, we have the bats uh, flying in this tunnel, uh, approaching a small feeder. And when they are flying there, we shoot with a laser uh, that allow us to capture the motion of the air behind the bat. And from that motion, we can then determine the forces generated, and in this case, determine that the, the airs and body is generating a downwash, which corresponds to a lifting force on the, on the bat itself. Uh, in addition to, um, to this uh, body lift that we found, we also found a, a novel mechanism uh, that the bats use uh, to generate thrust forces. They use this at very low flight speeds. So this thrust force is generated when the wings are extended away from the body, which means that they are very good for maneuvering, uh, generating maneuvers uh, in the bats. Flight control at low speed is very challenging because uh, also in drones that if and we think that this might be an important contribution to uh, control mechanism in drones for the future.